So I've been working with epoxy in my shop, um, along with woodworking and other things now for several years. And I was today years old when I learned that it is possible to overgas epoxy. So I always use the vacuum chambers to remove the air bubbles out of my epoxy before I do a pour. And then I had this project where I did that, but then I also, after I had it poured uh, to make some pen blanks for a client, um, I also degassed the uh, stuff because I had wood and other things in with the epoxy. So I degassed that to draw the epoxy into the wood. But unfortunately, I pulled out too much gas because then it did not cure. It's actually left it very pliable and flexible and made it into a gummy mess that even putting it in the oven at 190 degrees Fahrenheit for hours did not fully cure it. It's still even a little sticky. So always be careful how much degassing you do. Take it down a little bit uh, to pull out the small bubbles, but don't do it so much that you get no bubbles. So I took a think uh, down to minus one hemisphere and that was apparently too much. So watch how much you degas.